Dear students, now we are going to discuss loading of lines and its types in detail. As we all know that the condition for distortion less line is Rc is equal to Lg. From this we can get the ratio R by G is equal to L by C. So this is very important condition. Whichever line satisfies this condition that line is said to be distortion less line. But for a practical transmission line, R by G ratio is far greater than L by C ratio. Hence the signal is distorted. Do you all understand this? So in order to achieve the distortion less condition, we have to increase this L by C ratio to make these two ratios as equal. So it can be done either by increasing this inductance or by decreasing this capacitance. Here decreasing the capacitance is a little bit complicated and cost effective. So we are going to select increasing the inductance method. So here it can be done by increasing the inductance to achieve distortion less condition. Do you all understand this concept? So here it is necessary to increase L by C ratio to achieve distortion less condition. This can be done by increasing the inductance of the transmission line. It is called as loading concept. So the proper definition of loading concept is given here. The inductance can be increased by inserting the lumped inductors at suitable intervals along the transmission line to achieve distortion less line. So it is called as loading the line. So here this is the loading method. Okay, so the transmission line is having more number of lumped inductors at suitable intervals to increase the overall inductance value. Okay, there are two types of loading methods available. One is lumped loading Another one is continuous loading. Let's discuss each type in detail here. Lumped loading method. In this method, the inductance of a transmission line can be increased by inserting the lumped inductors at uniform intervals along the line. So this is the transmission line. Along this transmission line, we are going to insert physical lumped inductors at uniform intervals by which we can increase the overall inductance. So this is called as lumped loading method. There is a major disadvantage by placing this lumped inductors because due to the internal resistance of the lumped inductors, the total resistance of the line can be increased with increasing the inductance. Do you all understand this concept? So by using this lumped inductors, each lumped inductor is having its own internal resistance. So along with this inductance, we can increase the resistance value also. If the resistance value increasing means there may be some losses, hysteresis and eddy current losses. Okay, so these two losses will also increase with the resistance value. Thus the lumped loading is applicable only for a limited range of frequency. Next, the major advantages of this lumped loading method. The cast is small. Existing lines can be modified. We are not replacing the existing line. We are simply placing the lumped inductors at uniform intervals. So existing lines can be modified. Here we are going to use Campbell's equation to calculate the effects of loading coils in reducing the attenuation and distortion. Okay, loading coil means lumped inductors. So inductors can also be called as loading coils. Okay, so the effect of loading coils in reducing the attenuation and distortion can be calculated by using Campbell's equation. We are going to derive this equation in the next lecture video. This is very very important equation. Okay. Continuous loading method. In this method, a type of iron or some other magnetic materials which are having high permeability, example 
permalloy or u metals okay are wound on the transmission line continuously to increase the inductance magnetic materials with high permeability are wound on the transmission line continuously to increase the inductance so this one will increase the magnetic permeability in the surrounding medium thereby increasing the overall inductance so here this is the transmission line means we are going to wound the transmission line with the magnetic material the increase in the inductance for a continuously loaded line is given as l is equal to mu by d by nt plus 1 in terms of milli henry because we can increase the overall inductance in milli henry because we can increase the inductance in terms of milli henry only here mu is the permeability of surrounding material d is the diameter of the conductor n is the number of layers t is the thickness of the material okay advantages of continuous loading method in continuous loading method the attenuation is independent of frequency its value is alpha is equal to r by 2 square root of c by l here alpha is decreased that is attenuation is decreased by increasing the inductance provided the resistance is not increased we have to maintain the resistance value as such okay it should not be increased then the inductance is increased up to 100 milli henry per unit length okay disadvantages of continuous loading method it is very expensive method here the existing lines cannot be modified instead we are going to replace the line okay so here we are not going to modify the existing line we are going to replace the line it is a cost effective method that is the major disadvantage of continuous loading method so next one is the characteristics of the loading methods different types of loading methods it's very important diagram the x axis is a frequency y axis is the attenuation we are going to compare attenuation with respect to this frequency for this unloaded line with a small frequency range its attenuation is very high so we are going to reduce this attenuation by using this loading method there are two types of loading methods one is lumped loading another one is continuously loading in this continuously loading the attenuation is independent of frequency so here the attenuation value is very small when compared with this unloaded and lumped loading method the attenuation value is small okay so next the lumped loader line up to this cut off frequency range its value is smaller than the unloader line after that it can be increased do you all understand this so this diagram is very important to compare unloaded and the different types of loaded lines